today we're going to do uh, an HTA, endometrial ablation, it stands for hydrothermal ablation. And basically with this instrument, it's going to be inserted into uh, our patient's uterus and we're going to burn the lining of the uterus to stop the periods. The good thing about this is that the uh, patient's been bleeding for uh, 10 days a month with heavy clots and is uh, very unhappy with that. She doesn't want any more children. Uh, but she doesn't want surgery, she doesn't want a hysterectomy, and she doesn't want a hormones change. This device just works inside the uterus and uh, will not change the hormones and will shut the cycles down by about 90%. So um, we've inserted the uh, endometrial HCA uh, device into the patient's cervix, into her uterus, and as you can see on the screen here, um, this is looking inside her uterine cavity. There's a great deal of, uh, on the top surface and the bottom surface, there's a lot of what we can call proliferative endometrium. You can see her, uh, the holes here, and that leads to her uh, left fallopian tube, and this leads to her uh, right fallopian tube. We've already gotten a biopsy that showed that there's no evidence of hyperplasia or pre cancer or precancerous lesions, and now we're going to, uh, once my position is correctly, uh, we're going to commence with the ablation. So uh, we're coming to the end of this uh, HTA. Uh, it looks like we just have two minutes left. We've been uh, going for about eight minutes. The great thing about this is that the uh, patient doesn't feel any uh, pain or discomfort. And you can see that the lining of the uterus has all the, all the pain that represents blood is turning into a nice, uh, a nice uh, whitish uh, appearance, which shows that uh, the vasculature to the lining of the uterus or the blood vessels is, has been uh, ablated so that her periods will be uh, markedly decreased. Uh, patients tolerate this really well. She'll go home uh, from our office uh, within 20 minutes or so, and um, she won't have to recover from any kind of major operation, and uh, typically will resume normal activities tomorrow. So um, uh, this patient, instead of uh, having to be admitted to the hospital and take six weeks to recover if she had a hysterectomy, uh, the benefit of this ablation is that it's a 10-minute procedure in the office. You know, it, it burns the lining of the uterus so that her cycles will be dramatically decreased without affecting her hormones, and she'll leave here, leave the office in about 20 minutes, and resume normal activities uh, later today or tomorrow, and um, uh, have a very easy recovery without affecting any hormones and hopefully stopping her cycles to uh, her complete satisfaction.